Hey guys, it's Mr. Brinkley here again with my second video. Um, this video today is going to be on subtracting mixed numbers with renaming. Okay, so here we have our first example, 9 and 2 fourths minus 7 and 12 sixteenths. All right, we're just going to go about uh, the steps that we would take to subtract this problem. So, in every subtraction problem, the very first thing that we start with again is always on the right side. Okay, so looking at this problem, so on the right side we have our fractions, which would be 2 fourths and 12 sixteenths. Well, we have to subtract them, but we know that we can't subtract fractions unless the denominator is the same. So we have to find an LCD, or at least common denominator. So, looking at this problem, I know that the LCD is going to be 16. Alright, so I'm going to set it up. with my two equivalent fractions with the denominators of 16. So 16 times what gives me 16? Well, times 1. And since we already have our denominator of 16, this is a really easy equivalent fraction. It's just going to stay the same. All right. Up here we have to make our equivalent fraction. 4 times what gives us 16? Well, 4 times 4 gives us 16. So we have to take 2 times 4 because whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do the top. So 2 times 4 is 8. And now I'm just going to bring my whole numbers right over here. And 7. This way I, I just have a lot neater of a problem and I can just kind of forget all about that original problem. Okay, so now we're left with 9 and 8 sixteenths minus 7 and 12 sixteenths. Well, we still try to subtract those fractions, but we now can't take 8 minus 12, so we know this isn't going to really work out. So we're going to have to regroup or rename. So let's take one out of our whole number, the 9. All right, and since we're taking one whole out of 9, we're essentially adding a whole to our fraction. And we know that to represent one whole, all we have to do is make a fraction of with a number of, as the numerator and the denominator. So in this case, I'm going to pick 16 sixteenths because my denominator is 16. It's going to make it really easy for me to add. So I pick 16 sixteenths again because we took one whole out of the 9, made it an 8, adding it to my numerator so this way I can subtract. I'll have a bigger numerator. All right. So really all I'm doing is I'm adding my denominator to my numerator. That's really what I'm doing and I'm going to get 24 as my numerator. So I regrouped, got a new number over here, took one out, and I added my denominator to my numerator to get 24 right here as a new numerator. Now looking at the problem, I can go ahead and subtract. So this is going to be real quick and easy. 24 minus 12 is 12. Oh, and we keep the denominator the same, so that's just going to stay 16. All right, 8 minus 7 is 1, so my whole number is 1. Now, you would think this would be it. you think I'm almost done here. Well, I am almost done, but I'm not quite finished, right? We have to simplify our fraction. So looking at this problem, I know I can take a 4 out of both 12 and 16. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, when you divide 12 divided by 4, you get 3. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. So I'm left with 1 and 3 fourths as my final answer. Not too bad if you just take it one step at a time with regrouping. So I hope this lesson was able to help you out. And um, if you still have any questions, please be sure to check with me in class, of course, as always. See you then.